Welcome, all signs, to Cosmic Readings and Messages for May 2019. Just a quick re reiteration before I start your sign. Uh, I do not do astrology. Just keep that in mind. The signs are only being used for categorization, so you know which video to watch. I've asked the spirits and angels and the universe to direct the messages for those people that are watching uh, that fall under those signs. So just keep that in mind. Also, remember, this is considered to be for entertainment purposes only, so uh, if you do have any major issues that you are looking for resolution for, I wholeheartedly recommend you seek professional help. Other than that, we'll see what the uh, spirits, angels, and the universe has to say for you and your sign. I will be using the tarot cards and the messages from your angels for your message for this month, which will be coming up in just a moment. So thanks for joining the channel. Feel free to click the subscribe button or leave a comment or um, whatever you need to do to keep informed on what this channel is. This is about the third month I believe I'm doing this. So we're just seeing how it goes. And I thank you for watching our Cosmic Messages channel here, which is for you. I just want to see what the spirits, angels, and the universe has for you under your sign. And now we'll switch over to your sign. Hello, my Libra friends. Libra, this is your reading for May 2019. And you guys have a very interesting message. So you need to take some of this advice, I think. Um, I've already shuffled the cards. They've already popped out. I use the ones that the spirits pop forth. And I put them in order. And you've also got your one angel card that I'll talk about at the end. So let's get right into this because you guys have a very interesting story this month. We'll start off with your major card, which uh, is your main message you need to keep in, in mind for the whole month. And then we have three minor cards for the rest of the story. And you can see them all right there. You've got the Empress. So something to keep in mind for the whole month. She is a feminine type of energy. Uh, she talks about abundance of any kind coming. So not necessarily money. We think of abundance as money, but it could be pretty much anything. Um, she has her own way of doing things. So uh, if that's you, you have your own way of doing things. Um, people are also going to be attracted to you uh, as the empress there. And it, it could be, if even if you're not a woman, um, it's this feminine energy. People may be coming to you uh, for help guidance. Uh, maybe you're just going to be the shoulder that they want to cry on. Um, and work is getting better. Uh, and your money should be good. Now that's what she says. But these cards tell a slightly different story, but maybe it's because she's letting you know what's coming up in the future. So let's move along here because you can see right there, you've got the five of pentacles. You got the people out there in the cold, feeling alone, um, you know, you're feeling less secure, like you've been left out in the cold. The whole world is moving along and you're like stuck. So if any of my Libra friends are in that situation, maybe you've lost a job or your finances are a wreck or anything like that, uh, you have to ask for help. You got to ask for help. Um, and also know that this period of time is, is not, it, it's real, but it's not real. Because things do change and things will be changing. Um, they're going to be getting better. So if you need financial help, ask for it. Because just remember, this period, if it's, if it's in turmoil for you, is temporary. It's not going to last forever. And we move on to your next card. You've got the Page of Pentacles. Um, you know, this, this card is also telling you to be careful. Um... You know, it, it, pages are kind of like the knights. They, they come in with messages. And this page is saying um, you, need, you need to find some excitement. So don't dwell in that negativity uh, if you're bored. Um, maybe you're feeling out in the cold because of that, <laughs> the five of pentacles. But the page is telling you just have some excitement. And if things are tedious at work, just sort of try to find a way to lighten it up a little bit. Uh, and just get it done because things may be tedious. And maybe that's why you're feeling out in the cold. Maybe the money's not so good and it's like a grind. You're just like, Ugh, you know, I'm not making a lot of money 
you know, I feel like I'm out in the cold. Things are not going so well. Work is tedious. Um, but it's still work. So if you didn't lose the job, but you're just not feeling quite right, just get the job done and, and try to make it as fun as possible. Add a little excitement wherever you can. Um, you need to still be careful with your money. You know, that, that card's still talking about be careful with the money. Uh, but your hard work will get you paid. So think of this as these two cards are playing off of each other. Now, the last card you got there is the Three of Wands. You got that person looking out, and their their ships are out there, but they're coming in. Um, and it's also saying the same thing. Work and money will be getting better. This is improvement. And your hard work, right over here, your hard work will be rewarded. That's what that's talking about. So, my Libra friends, if, if you're in a situation uh, where things seem tedious, you feel left out in the cold, things aren't going so well, know that it's going to be improving. And we go back to your empress there. And she's saying, you know, things are going to be getting better and your money should be good. So, even though you may feel like you're out in the cold and things are getting bad, you just need to focus a little bit better and not dwell on that. Make things as, as good as you can. Remember, you are getting paid something. If you lost a job, things are going to improve in that too. You will find something. And it may be hard work that you know you just need to do temporarily to get through this period of time because... Things are better in the future. Things are going to be getting better. Now, your angel card that came through sort of fits this idea. you got the Bethany card down here. Let me just bring her up so you can see her. Um, she says, when you take excellent care of yourself, everyone benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat today, such as a massage, sea salt bath, or pedicure. She's saying take care of yourself. Uh, you know, even through all of this, just, you know, Give some time to yourself. Relax a little bit. It'll make you feel better. Because when you take care of yourself, like she says, uh, everybody benefits. So you benefit and everybody else benefits around you. Because you know what? If you got this stuff going on here with the with the uh, five and page of pentacles there, and you're, you're feeling kind of, you know, doing tedious work, maybe it's hard work, but it's getting done, uh, you may be a little bit grouchy. <laughs> you just come right out and say it. You know, that it's going to put you not in such a great mood. And, you know, the page is telling you try to make things more exciting. And, you know, these two cards here, you got you got your queen. I mean, your empress, I'm sorry, the empress. And you got the three of wands. Things are going to be improving. So take care of yourself. Try not to be so grouchy because when you take care of yourself, you and everyone around you feels a little bit better. So my Libra friends, if this if this resonated with you, just remember... This is going to pass. Things are going to improve. So if you're in a slump, just don't worry about it. So I hope that resonated. Keep that in mind. Just know things are going to get better. You got that Empress. You got the, the Three of Wands there. So there you go. I hope this resonated with you. I thank you for watching and have a good month of May.